Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon from the DCO community. And I just want to put together a video giving out some tips about uh, the Tides of War summer event. And I'm going to go into detail about like how to tackle the map in the open world as well as going into the alert. So first of all, if if you're going to teleport there, um, I always use Star Labs for the heroes, and for the villains, um, I use uh, Daily Planet. For for the heroes, Star Labs kind of puts you in a direct line to Aquaman ship. Um, the villains, you probably have like three different choices that are close to Ocean Master ship. So we're also going to take a look at the map. So the hero starting point is roughly here. So that on the compass would be... The, the heroes are, let's see, roughly on the west side and, and the villains would be on the east. And that, that, that's sort of important because if, if the heroes start here, you're going to see a lot more of your, your faction here. And if you're on the villains, you're going to see a lot more of the villains um, gravitating to this side. Um, and I'll explain that after I pick up the quest because it, it does make a difference where the population is. The, the open world is a two-part quest. There, there are two counters. So I'll go ahead and reset this. Ocean Master still plots to overthrow Atlantis. Help us defend our position and send him back to the trench he crawled from. Okay, so the first the first counter is disable generators on mutineer uh, frigates. So for that, you're going to go to the enemy ships. The enemy ships are the the purple are our Ocean Master. Um, you're going to do the opposite if you're a villain. You're going to go after the yellow ones for the first counter. Uh, for the second counter, you're repelling mutineer borders. So if you're a hero, you're going to defend your own ships. And um, if you're a villain, you're going to go to the purple ships and defend those. So let's see, we're going to go for... I'm going to see if any generators are open on this purple one. See, for, for that first counter, um, if there are a lot of your faction on the ship, it's going to help you out. Because you, you get credit for this if you're just standing next to it. Like, right now, I got credit for that one, and I just got here. I didn't even do anything. And that, that's a little bit weird, because you, you do see some people taking advantage of it. Like, they'll, they'll just stay down here and do nothing, and get credit. Now, for the ones where you're defending your own ship, in, in this one, like because of the way they adjusted sharing, like it's it's not lenient at all. Like you pretty much have to take out the entire ad to get credit for it. Um, in, in in this case, you, you're screwing each other, like on your own faction. If you see a lot of people, a lot of heroes defending this ship, you're never going to get credit. So for, for the second counter, what you want to do is find an, an empty ship with no, no hero players. So according to the map, what you want to do is um, do the opposite faction, the, the turrets, on your side. So if you're, the hero, if you're a hero, you're going to do it here. If you're a villain, you're going to do it here. And for the one where you're defending your, your same faction ships, you're going to go to the opposite side because on, on this side there are less heroes so you're going to have an easier time with that one and if you're a villain you're going to do the opposite you're going to go to the hero side and defend your ships there 
So it seems kind of weird, but that's just the way they made the game rules. Like the, the credit sharing is really good for the turrets, but it's very poor for the repelling mutineers. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm just going to move along. Uh, these barrels do help against adds because they, they do some AOE damage. Uh, two types of turrets. There, there's one where um, you're picking up like an energy source and you're bringing it over to the turret and there's, there's another where you're kind of reprogramming the turret to hit the thing in the middle. But if you get, if you get one type, it's going to be that same type for the entire ship. It, it might help to have a shield too. And as with other seasonals, damage to adds is always going to be one. So faster weapons, faster powers, and dot powers are good. Arthur's loyalists incoming! A drylander approaches! No! Oh, Sebastian! No! That's glory! already seven of those because of the credit sharing. sort of in the middle area right now, so there are still some heroes here. Not too many. And I could actually stay there, but as an example, I'm just going to fly all over. I'm going to fly to the villain side. Uh, let's see if we can finish the rest of these turrets. You will be punished for that. We will take these waters. Each ship is going to give you four, so you're going to have to do three ships. I'm actually getting really lucky with the ads, because they'll often appear as you're interacting. Defy King Arthur and pay! Oh, I didn't get the turret. See, another thing is you, you want to zoom out. So you can see that, that icon. Because that it's kind of off the screen because of the camera angle. Like the ship curves up. So the camera goes crazy when you're at the edge. Alright. Now we have the ads. This is seriously more annoying than the Star Wars event. Incoming. And if not for this video, I would never reset this event from the outside. Like sometimes the ads will just keep on appearing and, and never stop. So like they, they won't let you finish that note. Okay, so that's over with. This ship is actually clear. No other heroes. A little pain won't stop me. Guys will fight through the pain. Uh, if you pop any pets, they're gonna help you too because they normally don't do any damage. But since everything is downgraded to one damage, that's actually a good thing for any type of pet.
way to quell those mutineers. Ocean Master is gonna have a hard time sustaining this coup if he keeps losing forces at this rate. Check back tomorrow. Aquaman might still need help sending them back out to sea. So the, the outside is actually pretty fast. If you follow those rules, like if you go to the opposite side to try to defend your own ships there. Like, I, I don't know why people, like, end up gravitating to the same ships. Because the, you, you could be there for a much longer time if you do that. But, um, yeah, the outside, it tends to feel long because it's annoying, but it really isn't. Um, but still, just because of the annoyance factor, I would never reset that. Okay, so now we're going to go into the alert. Now, now this is probably worth the reset. Um, they, they each give you five for this particular event, so it's even. Now, they, they nerfed this a lot to, to make sure it was like a sort of a formality. Waller here. This affair is now under Task Force X jurisdiction. I've assigned members of the Suicide Squad to assist you in your objectives. Just keep your nose down. The squad won't step Oracle a toe. must have sent you to help. Line. I can handle my people's affairs, but since you're already here, help me push Ocean Master from this Atlantean outpost. He took it from the station guards. Now, we take it back. Ah, my brother, you've arrived, and you've brought friends to witness my coronation. You cannot stop me from taking my rightful place in the throne of Atlantis. This is my outpost now, and when the tides of war turn my way, I will be king! Now to the, the immediate left, there's a healing barrel from when you, where, you, where you enter. Your claim to the throne of Atlantis holds no water, Orm. You will not have this outpost, you traitor! Yes, my lord. And what I'm doing is positioning myself so that when he knocks me back, I'll, I'll be right at the console. My deal with Neron has given me unstoppable power. And I'm acrobat, and I tend to enter all two of acrobat. The seas will be safe again with your defeat, Ocean Master. I should be able to hit all three if need be. This will finish one, you. Two. And the, the other guy got one. But the, there's no interaction time um, on those cogs anymore. Like, all you do is touch them. So that, that's why an acrobat can get to all three of them. Previously, it was just two. To battle, mutineers! Ocean Master! This outpost will be two. mine. And three. Get out of my sight, Ocean Master. This outpost is liberated. Be gone! No! I will be king! Very fast alert. Thank you. It's critical that we hold this outpost. Now, I must return to the battle above. So if you're going to reset one of those parts, I, I highly recommend resetting the inside. Um, the, like previous to this year, the inside was a little bit harder. Um, at the end of last year, I want to say halfway through, that's when they made the change to like the COG interaction. Um, but the, the damage was still pretty high last year. Like, now you could pretty much enter at almost any level, and you'll get through it. Um, the, the only problem is, like, when people drop out in the beginning. And uh, I've also noticed that some players are going AFK just to try to get the loot. So you, you want to watch out for that, too. Um, but other than that, the, the inside should be safe most of the time to reset. The, the outside, naturally, is going to be 
safer because it's a guarantee like you you can't fail the outside um, but it's just really annoying that's that's why I don't like it I this is probably the worst outside of all the events for me um, not hard just annoying uh, but anyway I hope these tips help you out and until the next video thanks for watching